up. Hey guys, Operator Juski here, and today we're going to be going through every single type of class in Armor 3 and what weapons are the best for that class. Um, we're going to be going into every single class, so we're going to go over assault rifles, SMGs, sniper rifles, you know, you know PDWs, and even launchers and pistols. Uh, there's a lot of different things in this game, and it's kind of hard, and, and it, it, the learning curve is huge trying to learn all these guns, so I'm going to try to go over the best weapons that I think um, are, the, are the most effective for every single class in the game. Now your standard class, Rifleman. The first thing you're going to do is pop a little assault rifle in your hands, a standard MX or a Katiba, and you're going to wonder which is better, you know, a Katiba or an MX? And in my opinion, the MX clearly has more power longer distances, but the Katiba will win any fight close up. If both players are equally skilled in a close quarters engagement or even a medium quarters engagement, if that mean, makes any sense, the Katiba will always win. It comes to where a point that very, very long distance engagements where the MX will shine and it's highly, um, like a very, very small amount of more accuracy than the Katiba. You'll see a difference in longer ranges. Um, but the Katiba definitely has that higher rate of fire and almost a lower recoil than the MX and therefore I think the Katiba 6.5mm takes the cake in this. Um, Next up, Grenadiers. Now, the Katiba GL and the MX GL are the two main guns that I'm going to be going over here. And the MX has a special 3 GL. That means that you can go into your vest, you can go down to uh, the three round HE grenades, and you can load these in instead of the standard grenades. And watch what I can do with these. I can shoot three grenades out using one launcher. And these really are slightly, very, very slightly smaller explosions, but you still have three of them without having to reload. So you can just totally suppress an entire area and probably kill anybody within that area um, with this 3GL and not really have to worry about totally missing your shot or something. The 3GL is definitely an advantage over a standard grenade launcher, so for a grenadier, the MX 3GL definitely wins. Um, now we're going to go to, let's say you're running with a PDW of some type. Which PDW do you pick? There's actually three, and they're kind of hard to pick between. Um, the PDW 2000 has terrible accuracy, has a little good rate of fire, but doesn't really have any accuracy or any power whatsoever. The Sting is about the same. It has a little bit more accuracy, though. And then you get to the Vermin. The Vermin is definitely the best choice for this. It's 45 compared to the 9mm of both the PDW and the Sting. And that gives it a little bit more stopping power. And additionally, it's just, it's got a 30 round mag. You've got that range and accuracy of a, you know, really, really cool vector. And you've got a, the ability to put on a suppressor, put on a scope, all this type of cool stuff that you can just hook onto the gun. And it makes it a really, really good SMG platform um, compared to the 9mm SMGs. Pretty much everything in this game is power over uh, recoil or performance. You kind of want to have that more powerful bullet. So you'll see in pistols too, the 45s will uh, range out better than the 9 mils. Um, now let's go into auto rifleman. Auto rifleman is a big deal when you're going into auto rifleman. I'm going to be choosing um, not the MXSW because this is kind of like a not really auto rifle. I don't really know what to explain that is. Um, but we're going to be going into the LMG more type of guns. So the MK200 versus the Severe. Now the MK200 is good. It's got a 6.5. Where is it? It's got a 6.5 round um, output, and it's a it's a good gun. It has a higher rate of fire than no, actually it has a lower rate of fire than the Severe, but has lower uh, recoil as well. It has better iron sights and all that. But I gotta give it to the Severe. That 7.62 is a big difference compared to 6.5 in terms of damage in this game. I really don't know why, but you see a gigantic difference when you hit someone with a 7.62 compared to a 6.5 in this game. Um, not that I know real life ballistics or anything, but the 7.62 definitely does a lot more powerful in Arma, and additionally, uh, this gun comes with a built-in bipod. So if you're limited to not being able to carry something, this gun comes with a built-in bipod. So you can just hook that bipod down and you're ready to go, which is a really, really nice uh, feature. So the Saphir definitely wins in the auto rifleman area, um, and I definitely give it a 10 out of 10. It's a great gun. Now, machine gunner. Machine gunners are interesting. You have the SPMG 338. These are just gigantic guns. These are like stupidly gigantic. Um, these are available in the Marksman DLC. But you have the SPMG 338, and then you also have the Navid. The Navid has a much higher rate of fire, and additionally has that 9.3 bullet, which is, I would say, probably equal to the 338 in terms of damage. Let's look at the impact graph and see if it gives us any clue. Yeah, that's what I actually thought. Um, because I know that the DMR 
variants of these. There's two DMRs that I'll talk about later. Um, the DMRs has has a 9.3 variant and also a 3.3 variant and a 3.3.8 variant. And the 3.3.8 variant doesn't do as much damage as the 9.3. So, um, in the machine gunner group, the Navid 9.3 definitely wins. It just has a higher rate of fire. You can lay it down and just take out vehicles nonstop. This is pretty much a light armor, light vehicle killer. This thing is just destructive. Um, so I would definitely recommend the Navid because it definitely does have that higher rate of fire and I would just highly suggest that over anything else. With this kind of category, you're not looking for anything that doesn't have recoil. You're going to get recoil with this gun, either of these guns, so you're looking for something that has that more power. Uh, the bullet has more power in it and additionally the fire rate has more power, so definitely go with the Navid. Now let's go into marksman kits. Um, there are two types of DMR or snipers. I would say I, I would say there's two there's two DMRs and then there's two snipers. Um, the two DMRs are the MK14 and then the MK1 EMR. And these are both 20 round magazines. They're very very similar. They're both you know pretty dang accurate at longer ranges. But I gotta give it to the MK1 EMR and then it just has a more modern package. The impact is higher. Um, you've got a higher fire rate. You, you just got a better package when you're using the MK1 compared to the older MK14 7.62. Um, I additionally feel like the range, and, and not really range, but like accuracy for example, is definitely better with this gun at very, very extreme long ranges. I don't know if that will make a big difference, but you do, if you test it out side by side, this is a little bit more accurate than what you think would be more accurate in, than it uh, as the M14. So the M14 is a great gun in this game, but it just can't live up to the MK1 EMR's uh, performance. That's just a, it is, honestly, this is one of the best guns in the game here. A lot of people don't even look at this gun because they go straight to like the M320 LLR or something. Um, and, and this gun is one of the best, I gotta, I gotta admit. Um, so now we go into the sniper rifles, not the heavy sniper rifles, the light sniper rifles, which is the MAR-10 and the Cyrus. Now, this is what I was saying earlier, that 338 versus 9.3, the MAR-10 has a 10 round magazine, the same as the Cyrus. They're pretty much the same exact guns with different bullets. Uh, the 9.3 definitely has an advantage here in range and damage, but then the, the sorry, the, where, where was it? The MAR-10 definitely has more accuracy. Um, I prefer to use the Cyrus. The Cyrus just feels better when you know that you can probably one-shot kill anybody. I don't know about the graphs at the bottom right, by the way. I'm not looking at those because those sometimes aren't correct. Um, but the 9.3 definitely has more range because sometimes you can hit people with the MAR-10 at longer ranges and they don't give a shit. But <laughs> you go with the Cyrus and usually you can one-shot kill anybody at any range with this. It's just a great gun and I feel like the overall package is just awesome. The aesthetics are cool as well, um, giving it a small little, little tiny plus. But um, the damage is what pretty much gives this the upper hand. Uh, there isn't really any differences in rate of fire or anything with these guns. They're trying to be very balanced. Bohemia was uh, when making these guns. It's very clear of that from my studies of how they perform. But the Cyrus, in my opinion, takes the cake. Um, now let's go to the heavy sniper rivals. Now there's two. Uh, there's the M32R, the NATO variant, and then the GM6. The GM6 is a much better gun, in my opinion, because you have that semi-auto, much faster fire rate capability. Um, you do have a lot less accuracy when you're using this gun compared to the M320. I think it's like if you have points given for accuracy for guns, the M320 is like a 550 while the Lynx is like a 250 or a 300. It's something very, very far less than the um, M320 down here. So if you're going for super precise shots at, at extremely far ranges, the M320 is your gun, but anything else, anything else, the Lynx takes the cake because you can equip it with these type of rounds, these APDS rounds, which do like 60 damage when the usual bullet does 20. And these can take out tires of a LAV in seconds. I mean, these are crazy powerful bullets and multi-purpose. They aren't just for infantry. They are insane like vehicle killers. And that's why I suggest this gun as the main sniper rifle that you should use um, in any moment in time. 
Um, definitely those are the best rifles. Now let's go over to handguns. Let's talk about the handguns here. There's a lot of different handguns and I'm going to kind of put them in a 9mm versus 45mm. I covered this in my red versus blue handguns video so you can go look at this very very in-depth video um, that I'll put in the description down below. Uh, as well as that red versus blue series is a really really good informational thing if you want to go get better in armor and learn all the stats about the weapons that I've been talking about you can go look at those videos down below but we're gonna go with these really really quickly now let's go to the four or fives first you have the uh, four or five which is the NATO 45 ACP uh, this is a really really good gun the fire rates high the damage is really really high uh, the accuracy is a little bit lower than most but it's it's more effective for stopping power and that's what you're mostly going to use for it um, the ACPC2 is the more accurate but less damage variant of that four or five somehow it's the same caliber bullet but it does totally different ballistics than the <laughs> than than from a different from different pistol um, and then you have the Zuber 4.5. Never pick this gun. It's bad. The fire rate's bad. Magazine size is bad. And there's no damage increase from it being a revolver, like a lot of people think. That there's no, <laughs> there's no reason to use this gun. Um, so what I would say is the best out of the 45 pistols is the 45 ACP. Now the nine millimeters. There's two of them. The nine, the P07, which is the NATO variant, uh, has a really, really slow rate of fire. So you want to go if you're going with nine mils to go with the Rook 40. Now. In a comparison between the Rook 40 and the 4.5, which are definitely the two best pistols in this in these two categories, which one should you pick? I would pick the 4.5 unless you need to like suppress the heck out of somebody because if you have a Rook um, Rook 40, you can equip these 30 round mags here, these 30 round even tracer mags. Like these are like SMG mags pretty much. Um, if you don't need to suppress, then get the 4.5. It definitely has enough stopping power to. Um, you know compete with rifles in a close quarter scenario but make sure you're not using this in anything other than a very close quarter scenario pistols in this game aren't that powerful and it's hard to use them very very hard um, so make sure that you have something with stopping power I would highly recommend a 45 at all times instead of 9 mil it can take with someone wearing a full vest which is probably what you're watching this video for something like wasteland where people wear those special carrier rigs that take tons of shots you can shoot somebody with this pistol, point blank, if they're wearing a carrier special rig, nine times, nine times, that's that's this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can shoot them nine times in the chest until they die. They can shoot you once with an MX, and if you're not wearing anything under than like a carrier rig, you're gonna be dead. So you need to make sure to get something a little bit more powerful than a nine mil. Um, in my opinion because you will die if you can't carry 9 mil primarily so make sure you're not carrying 9 mil um, But other than that that is the main weapons I'll probably have the launchers for a second video because they're a little bit different They're all kind of in their own categories, but that is the best weapons in armor 3 in my opinion I think I went over everything here. Oh, 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 I forgot about the 556 rifles We didn't really talk about these these are 556 rifles. I personally think that they're both the same they are both the same. The stats are the same. They're 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 literally don't even believe the graphs. They pretty much perform just the same. I think that's I think that's it. I think that's it. Correct? Yep. Yep. We got every single gun in the game. Every and every pretty much class that you're gonna be usually using in the game. Um. So yeah, this is Operator Juski, and I hope you learned something today. If you think I was wrong about anything, comment it down in the comment section down below, get people to like it so that you can like rise up against me and make me do another video and maybe correct it because I, if I have anything wrong, correct me please. Um, if you guys like the content, go watch more of my informational guides on Armor 3. Uh, on my channel, I have that red versus blue series, it's awesome. You can go check that out, put a lot of time and work into that. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys later. This is Operator Juski, and stay alive people. No! <laughs> this can't happen! No! <laughs> yeah,